This video was brought to you by the number 2743. Guess what it means in the comments section and you get a cookie. So this may turn off a lot of people, but blue lives don't matter. And for what it's worth, blue lives don't even exist. It's an occupation and a class of its own designed to protect the state and private property of the settlers. Anyone with enough money can command the police to do what they want. The reason why the Black Lives Matter movement exists is because the police has been the instigator of the violence perpetuated on black people ever since the inception of the U.S. Empire. Now, I'm not necessarily talking about the human life that eventually becomes a police officer. I think eventually, at some point, we need to stop people from becoming police officers. I think people need to go through a rehabilitation process to stop them from becoming police officers. We need to teach people to gain sympathy from becoming police officers. We need to get them to learn how to use community defense rather than to use a statewide practice that is a monopoly on violence. But when a police officer puts the badge on and when they go through the training, and when they decide to start killing people on the streets, no. Then they lose their right to consider themselves individuals. They are now part of the state itself. They are part of the clan. They are part of the death cult. Blue Lives Matter? What, were you born a cop? That's not blue life. That was a blue suit. You don't like it? I mean, you could take the suit off and find a new job because I'm going to tell you right now, because if black people could, could quit being black, they'd be out of the game. That's a Dave Chappelle reference, by the way. Blue life does not exist. That's a job, not a factor of life that you cannot take or retire from. Just like the choice that you have to do to do the right thing. A choice that too many cops fail to do correctly. So if Blue Lives Matter, hypothetically speaking, what about all jobs, right? All jobs in the system. You know, what about teachers? What about mail carriers? What about garbage collectors? <clears throat> and they usually say that the, that, that the police are under attack. Well, you know, the teachers have been systemically been under attack by having their pay cut underfunded. And so have mail carriers when Donald Trump decided to cut their funding as well. And don't even get me started when garbage collectors had their unions crushed. Oh, but the police union is allowed to exist under the Trump administration. And you wanna know why that's so? It's because the police works in tandem with the Pinkerton Company. And the Pinkerton Company works with employers to dismantle and collect data on unions and union organizers. So no, blue lives don't matter, and anyone who advocates that blue lives do matter, especially when they put on the badge, is a doltish fool. The only cop that's good is when they cease to wear the badge or when they cease to exist. You may be saying in the comments section, well, you're seeing it black and white. My uncle is a good cop. My uncle is a person who advocates for black rights. My, my uncle is a black person who came from the hood. My uncle is this. My uncle does this. And my uncle is against the Ku Klux Klan. Well, here's the thing. Your uncle still works for the state. And your uncle may be personally against all of these things, but your uncle still works for the state. What your uncle should be doing, instead of working for the police, is working against the police. And your uncle should be working against the police in a way that dismantles any of the corruptness that happens within the police. All of the racism, all of the settler colonialism, all of the anti-unionism, all of the imperialism, all of that. Because this right here is the pinnacle of the police industrial complex. And it's not going to stop until your uncle 
basically justifies his existence within the police system or he ceases to be a police officer. I'm Skylar Sabo, she, her pronouns. Until next time.